and welcome to the Upa Kitchen. I am Cecilia and today we are trying part two of the Italian picnic. It's summer, you're out, you're having friends or perhaps you're going to see friends. You are having a picnic. Do something special. This is a very Italian treat which you do not really find in supermarkets or in restaurants and it's really a shame because it's easy to make, it's delicious and it lasts forever. It's called Frezele or Crusader Picnic. Hello, who are you? I'm a Crusader. Oh, are you hungry? Yes. Shall we make something together? Something you recognize? Yes, please. Lovely way, let's do it then. So Danny is the chef here and you can be the chef at home, but remember, always cook with an adult. They can be your assistants. In fact, she's in charge and I'm taking orders. Demi, can you take the water please? So you add, this is the flour. I always recommend wholemeal flour, always kids. And then please add, uh, add enough water, enough for us to make a little bowl. Can you start adding water now, Demi dear? Very slowly, very gently. Start working. Let's start, chef, shall we? So you just work on the water and flour. It ceases to be just water and flour now. It just starts becoming like a bowl. So do you know when it's ready? When it's kind of soft, but at the same time it's a bit gooey. Then you know that there's enough flour. And... dough has been resting for a whole hour it will look sort of like this you see and what we need to do at the moment is preparing because this little fellow here is ready to go into the oven what should we do now Demi? now you cover your um, oven dish with flour now your dough is ready to be split do you know what this means eh Demi? Split it, split it into yes, and you are ready to work with your half. Little, it looks a bit like a dumpling, doesn't it? But in fact, it's already a frazzy life. We, when you're quite happy that it looks really feels like a bowl, it, it feels a bit like pizza. What you do is you pierce it, you pierce it with a finger, and you turn into something that looks a bit like a bagel. You see. Now I've done it, and now Danny is going to do it. So, what would you do, Danny? Here we go. Yes, let's pierce it, pierce it, pierce it. Lovely. Let's make a big hole. Ooh, it's a beautiful frizzella already. Can you say frizzella? Frizzella. Well done, frizzella. Here we are. Put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Then is right, it's time to cut your frizzella, but you're still very young and if you're not quite sure about how to do it, don't worry, your adult assistant can do it. The safe way is, place one hand, which you've washed again so it's okay, place one hand on top and with the other hand, you just cut it in two. So now you know why one little frizzella can be split in two. So one becomes two and two little frizzellas are enough for four people. It's enough for a dinner for a whole family. Now you can believe us. Put your frizzella again into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. This is what your frizzella will look like when they are ready. Your frizzella rest 
for half an hour until they're quite cold. Do not put them in the fridge or in the freezer. You have only to be patient. And when they're ready, you do something very, very new in Italian. You take a frizzelle, don't forget to wash your hands again. Take your frizzelle, dunk them one by one into water. Two frizzelle three seconds, for a softer one five seconds. Let's try. One, two, three. Out my frizzella goes. Put it in another plate. And now you can decorate your frizzella with oil, basil, oregano, or tomatoes. And now look what me and Cecilia has, have organised. Yummy.